Hi, my name is Fritz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Over the years, I have had a lot of crazy ass intense situations and different events happen to me in my life, as I'm sure a few of you out there can probably relate to. I've been chased down the Appalachian Trail by bears. Man, guys, there's a bear on the trail on the exit to leave. The bears came down. Did you guys see them? They're still over there. Look behind something. I don't know. Let's get the book. Some ex-military veteran tried to gut me with a K-bar downtown St. John's like a fish. It says right here, reporting officer Spitler and Sergeant Claver were dispatched to an incident where initially a domestic assault or a knife and someone was cut was reported. The officers were given information that the knife was taken out of play prior to reporting the officer's arrival. That guy tried to stab me in front of my kids. You can see right here that the knife is a six inch blade. Oh, the, oh yeah, then there was the time that Judge Lisa Sullivan sent a suspected child molester and rapist who was high on meth over to my house. And they violently attacked me. That was a good time. So my current love interest at the time was having uh, difficulties remedying her custody agreement with her ex-husband. On December 17th, Judge Sullivan ordered my ex-husband, Cantlet Willard, to come to the house, even though me and my son are terrified of him. He threatened my son to backhand him. If I was you, I hear you swearing again, I'll backhand you. Backhand him. The judge wants to know why, I'll let him know. And to put me in prison. You want him out of prison? Because that's what's going to happen. And then he attacked Fritz Kale. And it didn't stop until the police showed up. You better get your ass in the vehicle right now. Put your hands on me. Get your ass in the vehicle, little boy. Hold this camera. Hold this camera. You think you're so tough? You remember me making you tap out? You asked me to tell you to tap out and talk to you this way? You remember that? Hmm? I, I, I just Take got an accident back then, remember? <laughs> It's always about you. It's not about anyone else. Shut your mouth and avoid you then. So it's about you. Yup, that's right. And what? If I was you, I hear you swearing again, I'll backhand you. Backhand. The judge wants to know why, I'll let him know. Because guess what? I'm going to keep backhand you. Back that is within my parental rights. So get it now. I don't want to. I don't care what you want. I don't care what you want either. I can force you. Force me. If you like me to, force me. Try me. I'll count to three. One. Two. I'll just count them right now. I'm going to have fun going to prison. Okay. You gotta understand when this kind of situation happens, things are very unpredictable. I said he was gonna hit him on the recording. Get your ass in, Tyson. Now, you want him out of our prison? Because that's what's going to happen. Tyson, I'm not going to go to prison. Yeah, she's not, not going to go to prison. I'm not going to go to prison. Really? Because do you know what parental kidnapping is, Jamie? <laughs> I'm not in... I'm not... It's a $500 fine. It's a $500 no, fine. Shut it up. Is this clear? Hey, dude. Let's keep it civil. What you going to do about it? <laughs> Sit here and laugh at the joke that was you? Stop! Stop! Stop. Yeah. Do you really think I'm a joke? Yes. Is this queer? These queer? Yeah? I know what I would do to you. I have no idea. What would you do? Why don't you stop on over? Why don't you talk into the microphone? I got a backup mic right here. Come on. Don't be scared. Scared of you? A drug addict? A drug What'd you say? A drug addict? A drug addict? That's, that's right. I'm a drug addict. It says right here, CPS worker KP testified the defendant father saliva was tested and it yielded a positive result for methamphetamine
Pill pill addict. What's that? You sugar pack it. Why don't you spend time with your son? It's what you tell the court I, you care I, so I much about. I look like a drug addict. What does a drug addict look like? Tyson, come over here. Huh? Little boy? Dude, get in your car. Call the police. Do whatever you want to do. Well, get the yeah. fuck out of here. It's your last chance to walk away. What you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do, man? You nasty? That's what you're good at. Nasty? Nobody wants to put up with that anymore. <laughs> My nasty? Honey? Nobody wants to put up with that anymore. Nice. You, have, you have time to talk to your kid, but you'd rather sit here and talk ah, shit to me. That's no, it. you've been bumping your gums That's since it. I fucking came here. When a guy who's very calm, he's not nervous, he's not like, oh, like, like that, or macho up, he's like totally calm, just cool, like, like that, holy fuck. You gotta be careful. You yeah, should okay. open your mouth. Dude, get your gun. Remember, you wanted this. Don't fucking threaten nobody no more. Do you understand? It's okay. You're okay. Get up. You set a code of laws to live by. What laws? I won't be wronged. I won't be insulted. I won't be laid a hand on. I don't do these things to other people, and I require the same from them. Is your hand going to be all right? Well. After the December 17th incident, I had to appear in court again in March for my second contempt. Judge Sullivan would not listen to me or watch the video and it was for my second contempt because of the December 17th incident. And he, she said that Carson's denial is my refusal. So she sentenced me to jail until Carson could be delivered to him. She forced me to deliver his son to him at his house. If you can understand after watching this incident on this video, what a crazy decision that is. For a judge to make considering the violence that just went down in this particular situation i mean i could have drove over there and that guy could have shot me and you know quite frankly as far as i'm concerned that'd be judge lisa sullivan's fault i feel like judge sullivan was treating me like the criminal when we were the victims and she just continually called us liars when he tested positive for methamphetamine. And for any judge to, to force a perpetrator, a rapist, a child molester, a child abuser to a woman's house with her kids to victimize them all over again is unjust and unfair. So number one mistake, it's not a fair fight. You go in, in an unfair situation with a fair mentality, you are fucked. You've lost. You think, oh yeah, he's not gonna hurt me. He's not gonna stab me. He doesn't have a weapon. He doesn't have friends. Everything's gonna be okay. He's gonna throw this punch at me. He's gonna throw this, and I'm gonna block it perfectly at the perfect timing. I'm gonna, and he's not gonna hit with his hand either. He's just gonna stay there. And I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna knock him up with one punch. And oh, very good. Not hurt badly. I'm gonna go home safely. No! No, your job as a man, as a woman, is to go back to your family, go home safe. I want it to be taken into consideration that I tried my best in this situation to be a decent person. I told Jamie's son that he should go speak to his father. Listen, go talk to him. Before anything got violent, I gave him plenty of opportunities to be a decent individual. I asked him very nicely to keep it civil. I'm not in, I'm not. It's a $500 fine. It's a $500 fine. Shut up. Hey dude, let's keep it civil. He had plenty of opportunity to get in his car and leave. Huh? Little boy? Dude, get in your car. Call the police. Do whatever you want to do. Well, get the fuck out of here. What you gonna do about it? I'm the type of person who spends the vast majority of my time with my kids doing things with them, a lot of it physical, a lot of my own personal hobbies are physical. How do you know this guy doesn't have more training on you? How do you know he's not working out? 
How do you know he doesn't have any background? How do you know he doesn't have any military background? How do you know? You don't know anything. So don't go into a fight where under, you underestimate your opponent. Always assume this guy is faster, he's more vicious, he's more powerful, he has more speed, he has better timing than you. How can I beat the guy? Don't go and say, I'm so fucking good. No problem, you can hit me, I can, I can take this, I can hit you back. Hell, how the fuck do you know? How do you know? I think had he not been on meth, this fight would have never been as nasty as it turned out to end up being. None of this ever needed to happen. And nothing like this ever needs to happen again, and hopefully it doesn't. So this fight happened December 17th, 2021. It is now October 9th, 2022. And Kent is still sending harassing text messages threatening me. In this text message, Kent calls me a little bitch. And the most ironic part of that whole thing is, is Kent doesn't have a driver's license. Kent likes to drink and drive. Kent actually got drove over to my house by his mommy and daddy. I don't have to have my mommy and daddy drive my ass around. One thing I need for everyone to know, my son here, it's just me and him. His mother died in a car accident almost five years ago. I'm all he's got. He's all I care about. Him and my other three kids. My whole life is involved around my children. And they need me. And I plan on being around. I contacted the Clinton County Sheriff. And they don't seem to care that he's high on meth and operating a vehicle with no license in Clinton County. I don't know, I guess it's not a big deal. He runs a meth lab over at his house, nobody cares about that. I don't know, he dates young girls, gets them strung out on meth. It's really, really sad stuff. Feel free to tell me what you think about all this in the comment section below. Tell me how would you would deal with this situation if the shoe was on the other foot. Tell me if you think I dealt with it appropriately. The comment section's there for a reason. And again, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Truthfully, I'm not even going to lie to you and tell you that I'm going to be able to provide you content like this on a regular basis. Because things like this don't happen to individuals on a regular basis. Thank God. And I hope something like this never happens to you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Getting too old for this.